Mental illness still has a sort of weird stigma about talking about it. And it's very difficult to describe, you know. And if you could describe Mm. it, perhaps there would be no reason to make a movie about it. But dramatising it and showing it, how complex it is and Mm. how many different layers there are to it and what the difference between medication and no medication. And the fact that, you know, if you were to come out of a hospital now having recovered from, say, cancer, everybody would ask you how you were. But when you come out of a mental health facility, nobody asks you anything. Yeah. And that is the big difference, that, that, that there is very few ways to talk about it that aren't, that don't feel awkward mm-hmm. uh, or embarrassing for the mm-hmm. person who's, who suffer, who's suffered. And as it. you said, that the, um, it's difficult in society because you can imagine being the woman in the flat above. At some point, your patients must run thin. Yes. When, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and even though you go, they're ill, it's not their fault, but... Stop playing loud music at four in the morning mm. and stop trying to throw bricks through my window. But at some point, you know, that's why. But it's it's so beautifully written by Sam that you can see the whole cycle of it and and the remorse that comes afterwards. Mm. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, she, you've written her as a very courageous mm. woman, which I, you know, it's about the the destination that is a cinema, the sort of palace of dreams, if you like, that is the place that you go to. And when I grew up, it was the only way you could see a movie was to go there. And so the the experience of going to the movies was a thing in itself, which is not so much now. It's, it's much better in many ways now because you have availability of all movies all the time. But in another way, that it's less special as an event. And it's also about the kind of ad hoc, weird but beautiful families that you find in these places and that I found as an only child who didn't really grow up with a family that I discovered in the theatre and film with these this eccentric families these these people who somehow support you and treat you with love and lack of judgment and and I wanted to kind of create that society within the cinema. Um, What I loved about playing Stephen was that he has this um, complex kind of relationship with this older woman you know because I've never really seen that on screen before and I feel like there's not many people that are going to address something like that, um, which also need, needed to be addressed, I think, you know, because it, it shows that it's not really about age or colour in in this instance, you know, it's just about how two people connect over things that they love. Um, and I think that's so important. <laughs>